and running. Oh, King Cossack tried to get rid of the rider after the jump away, and he dropped out to last with Starak and King Brian. Nick on the run away quickly, going with it. Killet Cuter and Kingston calling. Over on the inside, Jacoby pushing up. Two lengths, Rai Hero just off the speed. Outside at Fayance. Two lengths further back in the race. Then Zaccarino on the outside of El Quahira Sun. Two to Starak, Senec Royale. Further back was Mill Brave, King Cossack, a gap principality. Well back, King Brian. Peep on the sly, second last, 18 lengths from the front and Clearborn last of all, 900 to go. Kingston calling by two to Nick on the run, two to Killat Cuter. Jacoby is fourth, the fence, a length and a half to Fayance. Uh, King Cossack has crashed. King Cossack's gone down and uh, Clairborn's gone over the top of it. Up to the turn they race this time and at the 600 metre mark and it's Kingston calling a half in front of Nick on the run. Two lengths, Jacoby on the outside of it then uh, came Killat Cuter. Fayance pulled out deep behind those Rye Hero. El Quahira's under the fence and wider out Zaccarino, Star Act and Senec Royal at the 400, Kingston calling a length in front of Nick on the run, El Quahira's son going a right, if he gets off the fence he's trying to push through from Jacoby, Rai Hero's running behind them and then Senec Royal with a late run, El Quahira's son gets out, grabs the front now from Nick on the run, Senec Royal down the middle, sprinting home well, El Quahira's son in front Senec Royal starting to go to it, it's El Quahira's son kicking clear though and El Quahira's son wins two lengths to Senec Royal, Jacoby third and nose in front of Nick on the run, then Rai Hero and further back, Star Act and Principality, Zaccarino behind those Kingston calling. Further back in the race, Peep on the sly, followed by Fayance. Well back, Killack, Cuter, followed by Milbrave. And King Brian, here's the rideless King Cossack. King Cossack went down and over the top of him went Clairborn. Double 52.40. And number four, El Quahira Sun, 12.50, 3.70. Nine, Cynic Royale, 3.20. Eleven, Jacoby, $8.20. For El Quahira Sun, 10, 93, 20. Number 9, Scenic Royale, $4. And number 11, Jacoby, 760. We'll report on those as soon as we can. Number 4, the winner. El Quahira Sun, number 4. Number 9 is second. Scenic Royale, third, 11, Jacoby, 4, 9, 11. Moving in, Clem Kembler, race 6, Melbourne. Successful missed it by three quarters of a length. Our Lance near the inside jump well headed immediately by a Vulcan and Batwing. And it's going to be Batwing ahead of Vulcan settling. Third is Krasnopolsky from our Lance. New set wide out. Then the favourite Madison Point followed by Yaradorf on the inside. A couple of lengths into our replica well back and wide out from that deep alley from successful and then cohort and to Jamia. On the side near the 600 and a Vulcan. A length and a half clear on Batwing. Third new set and between horses fourth our Lance. Then Krasnopolsky. Krasnopolsky wide. Yaradorf the inside and between Krasnopolsky and Yaradorf Madison Point who got back a little from cohort. Our replica Jamia and successful whips them in. Straightening in the satellite. 350 to go. Batwing on the inside. Sailed through to head off a of Vulcan. New step third then our Lance Krasnopolsky followed by cohort. And our replica on the extreme outside. Yaradorf sneaking up on the inner from Madison Point. New step hits the front 100 metres to go. Cohort on the outside going after New step. New step is stopping. Co Cohort grabbed him and got him. Cohort from New Step, our replica prominent for third on the inside. Yaradorf right up there for the minor with Batwing, the Navalsian. A break, our Lance and Krasnopolsky, Jamia successful, and Madison Point put in an ordinary one today and back amongst the tail enders. Number two, Cohort 1070, 370. Number 10, New Step to return 560 and one, our replica 170. About $11 approximately. And three dollars thirty. Number two cohort, upwards of eleven dollars and three thirty. New sept had it won in the last few bounds before the line, but then in the last three bounds coming to the post, cohort overhauled him and got up and won by around about a head to a long head. Number two cohort from uh, number ten, and that's New sept, and the dividend for New sept will be five twenty five twenty. And for third, the uh, two that look the most prominent are our replica, who I think will just get third because he's wide out. Yes, he has run third. Number one, our replica third, written by Shane Dye, and he'll pay $1.80. So those numbers are now official. 2-10-1, cohort by Marauding from Rosa Linda, trained by Johnny Hawks for the Woodland Stud Syndicate. First up since uh, running last in a field of 20 in the Epsom, Johnny Powell, the winning rider.
only returned to the saddle after a lengthy suspension in the last uh, week or so. Number 10, Newsept, second to Chestnut Gilding, four, Kenmare, Clon Abbey, trained by Noel Mayfield, Smith, John Grisdale. One hour replica, third, big run from a wide alley, Written back in the field today, a bay horse six, Snippet same, Gordon York, Shane Day. And the fourth went to number seven, Batwing. Batwing was fourth, the winning margin. A slender short head with two and a quarter lengths between second and third. A short head two and a quarter. They've run 102.99. 102.99. That's only 0.27 outside of Vulcan's race record. And the sectional was a very slick 33.46. Quinella, $87.70. Exacta paid $180.40 and the trifecta $1,148.40 and we'll have more news on the Sydney scene in just a moment. Update race 6. Port paid 11.10. 11.10, the place 3.30. 3.30, number 10, Newcept, 5.20. 5.20, number 1, a $1.80 R replica, 1.80. Quinella, 87.70. 87.70, exacta 180.40. 180.40, trifecta, 1,148.40. 1,148.40, running double, soup kitchen cohort, 102.50. $102.50. Uh, the Putters Club had $2,000 on, uh, on cohort in that too at uh, $11.10, so that was a handy result. Short head, two and a quarter, 102.99, and the sectional 33.46. Now race number seven, this is the Petrero Handicap, and it's over 1,500. There are no scratchings, a field of 10, and I'll be back as soon as the opening. OK, thanks, Ian. By 50 and 14, whale of a night, 20 and 3. A start unsold, couldn't go with them and dropped to the back of the field. Hunza Court first out over on the inside of Maggie's Day, and they're out two lengths in front now from Del Sol going up third. Skipper Region fourth, and they're followed outside by Royal Blue, and they've clapped on the speed about five lengths to Coachwood. Two to Geneva Bell, and four or five unsold tailed off about 15 off them. A thousand to go. Hunza Court kept the fence a half in front of Maggie's Day, a length for the back, Del Sol three deep. Skipper Region fourth, a length into Royal Blue, two for the back, Coachwood, two Geneva Bell, eight lengths last of all unsold. 800 out, Hunza Court about a head in front. Maggie's Day is second and on the outside, Del Sol's had a tough run always out wide. Skipper Regent right behind the waiting for the run from Royal Blue. Then came Jadiva Bell, pushed out deep and back inside at Coachwood and eight lengths to unsold. Around the turn, Maggie's Day under pressure. Hunza Court has got to straighten up in front. Three quarters, Maggie's Day. Behind them, Skipper Regent waiting for the run. Then further back, Del Sol. Down the middle of the track, Jadiva Bell, Coachwood and Royal Blue's under pressure. At the 300 though, and Hunza Court a length and a half in front of Maggie's Day. He's left the fence, this leader and skipper region getting up on the inside and Jadeva Bell. Jadeva Bell's coming with a run with Coachwood. Hunza Court still in front down at the 150, laying out badly on the outside is Jadeva Bell. Skipper region, Royal Blue back to the inside. He's near the outside fence, Hunza Court over Jadeva Bell, but he gets home. Hunza Court a neck to Jadeva Bell, I'd say, and Royal Blue back on the inside with Coachwood. Then further back in the race, skipper region, followed by Maggie's Day and Adele Sol and a lot Long gap tail right off is unsold. Five Huns Accord, three dollars, one forty. Six Jadeva Bell for the record, four fifty the win, one seventy the place, third four Royal Blue, two sixty. Okay, number five Huns Accord drifted out to ninety one forty. Number six Jadeva Bell, four sixty and one seventy. And number three Coachwood to pay four dollars could be interesting. And he's uh, he's got home number five Huns Accord, but he wanted to run out the gate. He's beaten Jadeva Bell about a half length and has carried her out. Number six, she is second. And number three has got third. Number three, Coachwood here. Number three, Coachwood just ahead of Royal Blue. So it's... It'll pay $3.40. There's correct weight, Perth, on race 2765. Uh, in race three, Perth, we're down... They're off now. And immediately Rhythm Review goes to the back of the pack and the early leader is Lorelei's song narrowly though from Flying Fortress going up quickly as Caramel Sunday. And Star County is nice and handy as now Caramel Sunday is going to lead but Flying Fortress is not leaving her alone. The two of them level peg with Flying Fortress at the 1200 now a length Caramel Sunday. Two Star County around Lorelei's song, two and a half the top weight Marathon on the inside of Pink Taffeta then Moneymaker, Scenic Snow, Rhythm Review and Last Charismatic. They run past the thousand and go on to the 
the first bend and Flying Fortress steadied. Leads a length and a half, Caramel Sunday, a length Star County as the speed slows noticeably from Lorelei's Song and then Ping Taffeta. Marathon over on the rails, followed by Moneymaker, Scenic Snow, Rhythm Review and Charismatic. Along past the 700 metres they gallop and Flying Fortress under a straight by Corey Brown, a length and a half, Caramel Sunday, one Lorelei's Song. Nearly a length further back is Star County, followed by Marathon and then Ping Taffeta, who's racing on the outside of the top way to couple to Scenic Snow on the rails over Moneymaker and two to Rhythm Review in company with Charismatic. Around the corner they travel and Flying Fortress in the race that's developed into a sprint home. A half length on Caramel Sunday, a length to Star County. Marathon out into the open stretches now from Scenic Snow and here's Rhythm Review. Pink Taffeta's about 115 wide. Rhythm Review is out after Caramel Sunday. Caramel Sunday in front. Rhythm Review a half length second and she won't catch Caramel Sunday. Rhythm Review and Caramel Sunday. Honest as the day is long. Caramel Sunday from Rhythm Review and Scenic Snow. Then Star County Flying Fortress, followed by Marathon anchored under her big weight. A break then to Lorelei's song, Charismatic Moneymaker, and here's San Diego Soto last to greet the judge on Pink Taffeta. Goodness gracious me. Number two, Caramel Sunday, 490 and $1.60. Number four, Rhythm Review to pay 190 and nine, Scenic Snow, 540. Petrero Handicap is number two, Caramel Sunday, written by Larry Cassidy. But gee, she's honest, this one. Number two, Caramel Sunday, written by Il Cassidy, has returned $4.90 and $1.90. Number four, second, Rhythm Review, written by Paul Falvey, has paid $1.70. And third, going to number nine, Scenic Snow, handled by Glenn Boss. Her tape will be $5.80. There go the numbers, 249. The fourth was number three, Star County. The winner trained by Gary Nixon. He's done a very good job with this mare. A bay mare six by Sun Master from Spending Spree, owned by A.G. Brock, J.D. Somerville and W.P.M. Benson. 35 starts, seven wins, three seconds, four thirds. But a form uh, this time in has been very, very good. She's never been far away, fourth, third, fourth. And... Uh, after the silver stocking when uh, she was fourth in a big field on the Gold Coast, not beaten far behind Pacific Crossing, back to what was a slightly weaker race and proving too good. To score officially by one length, three quarters of a length between second and third, one by three quarters, 129.79, little over a second outside the record, 129.79, 33.75 the sectional time. Marathon anchored under the big weight, rhythm reveal, well, she plugged home, she's getting on now like the winner, she's a six-year-old grey mare. Looked as though she might go on at the 200 metres. Probably just died on a run of fraction. She's by the Rogers, four Spangles and Lace. Kay Latimer, Paul Falvey and Scenic Snow got through nearer to the inside in the latter part. By Scenic from Snowtastic, Brown Mare, four Kevin Robinson, Glenn Boss. Quinella, 11.80, Exacta, $22 and the trifecta, 411.70. Repeating the daily double, the pair of twos, 52.80. Here's Rodney. Thanks, Ian. Race seven.